Hey, it's Jake with Senkut Sen. Today, we're gonna to take a deeper look at bending. Let's start with talking about the basic terminology of bending and flanges. So we're gonna start off with, we have a single bend here that's 90 degrees with essentially two flanges. So we have a flange on the top, flange on the bottom, and a bend here. The first terminology that we wanna talk about is often called the apex or the mold point, and that's gonna be up here. So let's just write apex for right now. The apex is the theoretical point that is off the tangents of the bend that's out here in space. So if we were to have a perfect corner without a radius, that would be where the apex of the mold point would be. The next part that we wanna talk about is the setback point. And we're gonna call that SB in this drawing. The setback is the distance from that apex, so that theoretical point out in space, back to where the bend line is gonna be. So the end of our bend that goes into the flange. So let's call that SB. This one has two setbacks, right? So we have one on each side of the bend and that are the, actually the same exact distance. So we'll write here also SB. There's two things that really affect that, um, the setback is the angle in which you're bending the material and the radius in which you're bending it. So if we change the radius, we move this bend line down. And if we change the angle, we move our apex. The next thing that we're gonna talk about going off of that is our neutral line. So our neutral line is a line that runs through the whole center of the part, so it's half of the thickness of the part. So if this is our thickness, we'll call that T. Our neutral line is running at half of the T. Lastly, we have one more terminology to talk about, which is our bend radius. Our bend radius is measured on the inside of the part, not on the outside of the part. So we'll call that BR. So the bend radius is measured on the inside of the part because the part, it goes under compression and tension. So the inside of this part in here, we'll mark this in red, is in compression. So this area is actually compressed into it and formed into that um, area. And then our outside is in tension. So blue area is in tension, red area is in compression. So when we do this, we actually end up deforming this area and this ends up moving inward right here. So if to exaggerate this, stretching that inside, we end up thinning out this area right here, which causes our neutral line also to shift inwards. This shift inwards and that thinning is where we get our term K factor from, which is a common uh, terminology when it comes to bending. The K factor, we're gonna call this new little thickness right here, little t. So let's write k factor is equal to that reduced thickness over our overall thickness. So that's it for the basic terminology for this one. Stay tuned for more.